Hello, welcome to this new section of Linux command. Well, you see that uh, this section is also very important once you understand virtual machine and how to install operating system inside a virtual machine and how to configure it. You need to understand the internals of uh, Linux and the Linux command. Earlier you had seen the directory system of Kali Linux and now you need to understand the command. So why this section sir? Well, the this section is basically is because uh, you see that you have to uh, you know face this terminal like so many times in the practical sessions so many times so if you do not understand the internal characters like this if you do not know what this ls is then how can you perform how can you evaluate it right how can you evaluate the result analysis the result you cannot do it right so to amplify this whole thing we have a section of linux command so in this section, we will understand uh, different types of Linux command, a simple one, intermediate one, and the advanced one, okay? It is very, very important that you understand the command and then practice it so that you can gain uh, much more knowledge from it, all right? So first of all, let's understand the basics, okay? So the basics is, uh, uh, so, uh, so when you deal with this terminal, actually, we call it as command prompt and also terminal. The command prompt is for Windows and terminal is for Linux user. So how can you use it? So you can either go for here and just uh, write, uh, click on the terminal emulator. You can type here terminal as well, or there is a shortcut for it that is Control uh, Alt T. When you do it, it will open the you know terminal like this black window. You can zoom a little bit by Control plus plus, so it will zoom it uh, according to the uh, plus sign you had pressed. Okay. Now here's the here's the thing. What is the thing is, uh, you see here there is a symbol, uh, one is a hash symbol and another one is going to be a dollar symbol. So there are two symbols uh, can be there on, on your terminal window. So what is the meaning of it? You see that when you see this hash symbol in your, in your terminal, the hash symbol is basically for the root user. That means you are a complete administrator of this operating system. By means of this root user, it means that you can use all the instruction, utilities, program, and everything from the operating system. Okay, you are an administrator here. However, if you see in your terminal, there is a dollar sign that means you are not the complete administrator of this operating system. You can use bits and pieces of the operating system. You cannot use uh, you know, the proper function of uh, this OS, right? You can use a small set of instructions only. Uh, so it's a non-administrator user okay uh, they have their own advantages and disadvantages which I do not want to cover it up here but uh, this is the, this is the thing so it is an uh, recommended or uh, you can say advisable that uh, you create uh, a different uh, login for non-root user so what you can do you can create another user for non-root and that means this dollar sign one okay and uh, so if you want to make any instruction which is specifically for the root user you can write a sudo okay or you can become like sudo su or maybe dash i for a root user so you can flip it or you can replace it so you, you can shift it from a root user to non-root user or from non-root user to root user you can do that and we will see in the later session as well but uh, this is the one thing that you need to understand. So if you see this hash symbol, that means you are a root user here, all right? So uh, this is a black terminal window. You can see you have a hash symbol there. That means you are a root user there. So inside a, a terminal, there is a thing that you're gonna type that is command. And what do you mean by command? It is basically a program or a name of the program, simply name of a program, which are pre-installed in the operating system this is the thing okay i hope so any command that you are typing on the terminal it is basically a program it is the name of that program and it is pre-installed in the operating system so if you are typing here like pwd which is our first command uh, that that means this basic command it's a name of the program which is there inside the inside the whole operating system you're just calling it okay and then it will give you the result so that's why we have uh, this command here now to run any command you need another program right so to need uh, sorry to run any command any program uh, you need a program called as shell 
Now, this shell is basically this one. You can see here this black window is, is nothing but a shell. So any command run by user is going to be interpreted by the shell. So this shell is, is basically a kind of interpreter which can understand the command. Okay, it, it is uh, this shell, shell which can understand the program. And uh, uh, the default shell in the Kali Linux is basically the born gain shell which also called as bash. Okay, it's, it's a GNU born gain shell, which is known as bash cells. It's a default shell and you can, you can have different types of shell available. You can go for any website and search for shells, different types of shells, you will get a lot of them. So this is a shell. And what is the shell basics? How can you run it? How can you run any, pro, any, any command inside a shell? So the shell, a shell basic is, it says that you can write command, then there is an option for it. So, sorry option then you can have an argument apologies for uh, you know typing so slow and different uh, grammatical mistakes but there is a command then option and then argument one example is you can take uh, like this if i ls is my command dash l is going to be my option and then this is the argument okay this is a simple example you can take so this ls is going to be my command dash l is going to be my option and argument is going to be my this home desktop uh, so uh, this command is going to give you here the command is give you give you the run the command what argument says sorry what option says option says behavior of the command and then what is the argument here well the argument is target of the command so this is the thing i hope you understand it the shell basics so in the same way you can you can write any command and you can write even multiple command with the help of comma separator right so let's understand our first command and the first command is basically the pwd which is uh, which is something like print working directory so it says in which directory you are in right now so when you first open the terminal you are in the home directory right now so when i hit enter in the pwd it will say is that you are in the home directory so let me just hit enter here and you will see right now i am on the root okay i am i'm a root i'm in the root directory right now so if i go to cd desktop let's say i'll tell you about cd as well but if i go to cd desktop and i type pwd here you will see that now i am on desktop so let's say if i go for a specific folder a cd vivek here and now if i try pwd here uh, let me just clear the screen you can see here that i'm on i'm in vivek and if i type print working directory pwd oh, sorry so sorry apologies pwd you see i'm on vivek. so it will tell you it will print in which directory right now you're currently in so that is our first command pwd uh the next command i'm so sorry Next command is going to be the ls command. So ls command is basically the list directory, or uh, uh, it, it will tell you the 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 files and folders inside a directory. So if you want to see like a cd desktop, if I go for a cd desktop, uh, so I am in I am in desktop right now, and you can see there are many files and folders available in the desktop, right? So if I type ls here, which is uh, is going to list everything inside the desktop so when i hit enter you will see that i have cracked text uh, dhrmal file hash dot text kali practice as a folder test dot c as a program and vivek as a folder you can see it will list everything which is there in the desktop if you want to see the internals of it you can uh, you know just type ls dash uh, maybe help oh, i'm so sorry i think i had dash h please so oh i'm so sorry uh, you can uh, type man command for uh, man command i'm gonna cover up in the in the later session of the command but let's say if you want to give any option here so what you can do is ls dash a so a will specifically tell you uh, you know the uh, the properties of the each and every file so when it is created uh, what is the uh, who is the owner and uh, is it a directory or the file uh, what is the time everything it will give you so let me just uh, print here Oh, right now it is not showing you but i think if i if i do like this it will show you so l is basically um, the thing that so i'm so sorry i think a is give you the hidden files i'm so sorry i, I think i had wrongly interpreted here uh, dash a is going to give you the hidden files and folders which i'm so sorry i just apologies for that but uh, the l command will give you the all uh, you know properties so you can see here that uh, uh, 
this Kali practice is basically the directory here and it is having a read write permission for the group user uh, and the owner so uh, x is for executable and they have you know this whole thing is for user and then group and like that uh, then you can see then uh, what is the date uh, it is created the size and the time so it gives you all internal structure of it okay so this is our uh, the second command ls command so now we go for uh, the third command and third command is basically the cd command now what cd cd is basically the change directory okay so if you want to move from one folder to another folder or maybe one directory to the another directory you can go like if i go for cd desktop so i will move from the root to the desktop here you can see here i am in the desktop now if you want to move from cd to vivek then you can just make it like this okay so now i am on vivek you write pwd where in vivek now one thing you need to understand that uh, if you do not if you do not want to make it like uh, if you do not want to write the whole uh, uh, you know path you can make it tab okay you can use the tab function here so if i write cd and just type uh, uh, um, maybe inside vivek i do not know what is there so I, I i do not know i think there are three files only so if you want to go for like a cd and then uh, maybe dex d d if you type only d and if you press a tab button double tab then it will show you the options uh, so, so it will show you that uh, the folders were having the initials as d if you type d e then it will narrow down the search for you double tab so so it will double tab and it will show you the there is a folder name uh, there is a directory name desktop you want to go it for there if you hit enter you you are entering the desktop so here we go okay this is one uh, thing in the uh, desktop by the way you can clear the screen with the help of clear which is clear right so uh, there is one more thing that uh, we need to understand that uh, let's say uh, let's say inside this vivek i'm manually creating a folder right now but uh, in the other section i'll tell you how you can create so i have a folder named test and inside this test i have another folder let's say test uh, one okay so i have a uh, nested folder so i'll move to cd desktop and if i go for cd vivek i'm sorry vivek and then cd i'm sorry vivek and then if i go for the fo next folder test and next folder test one so here i am in the nested folder here desktop then vivek and then test and then test one now here is the requirement the requirement is if i want to if i want to come uh, come next uh, previous uh, folder if i want to go to the previous folder how can i go ahead you can do something like cd space dot dot if you do this then you are just uh, you know backing yourself to the previous folder here you see here again if i do cd dot dot then you are in the vivek again if you do that dot dot you're in the desktop again if you do that you are coming out of that folder coming out of the directory so this is this is the one thing you can you can do that uh, this this whole thing you are doing like step by step but you can do the same thing like in the one command so if i do like again if i go for cd and desktop then vivek then test you can see here i'm giving tabs here not writing the whole command so this is again i'm in the test one folder and you can do something like this cd space slash then double slash and double slash so this is like three directory back so when i hit enter here i'm directly backing myself uh, coming to the previous previous and then previous to the desktop here i have three slashes which means come back to the three i mean back to the three folder okay so go go back to the third folder so that's why we have a single command and you can use the same functionality here i hope you understand it so this is uh, one of the thing that uh, i want to show you uh, cd command then uh, if you want to like if you are like, let's say cd desktop one more time one thing i just uh, so right now let's say you are in the this folder and if you want to directly come to the desktop like uh, not desktop but you want to come out from all the folders you just have to write cd and you are out of all the folders directly and you do not need to uh, you know write cd dash dash sorry dot dot slash dot dot slash no you do not have to do it you can directly come uh, to the to the home directory directly okay the next command is going to be make directory how can you create a directory so let me go to the cd desktop here 
and uh, if i if i want to create a directory so i will simply write mkdir which is make a directory and let's say another folder here test so you will see that a test folder has been created you can check as well from ls command here test folder right so you can create a, 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 a directory with the help of make directory uh, like let's say if you want to remove that directory how can you create it well it's simple rmdir rmdir is going to remove that directory so if i want to remove test like rmdir test it will be removed you can see here again check ls command see there is no test here right so this way you can you you can play with mkdir and rmdir which will create which will create and delete the uh, directories but now here is the thing let's say if i have mkdir as a test folder so this is my test folder and manually if i if i provide any any folder here uh, sorry any any file here let's say this is my test file uh, this is the test file and this is the test file of zero bytes so now you see that uh, i have a test folder uh, folder and inside that there is a test file name and if i want to remove this test directory how can i how can i do that rmdir and test if i do that you will you will observe here that i cannot delete it you see directory is not empty fail to remove test directory you cannot remove it the problem with rmdir is if your directory is not empty then it cannot delete it okay right now there is a test file name inside this folder you can see right so that's why it cannot delete it so if you want to delete a folder who is having some file you can use something called as rm which is remove and you can use now test if i do that you will see that there is another problem with rm command it says that it is a directory i cannot remove it so to remove that complete directory you can use something like rm dash r okay once you once you use a dash r it will remove the whole thing test as well as the file inside the test folder so rm dash r test you you can see here now there is no test uh, a folder as well as the file test name right so you can do the same thing for uh, you know the path like absolute path uh, path or relative path you can, you can do something like uh, you can directly give a path here which with the help of mkdir uh, slash downloads i'm sorry uh, you can simply go for downloads and you create a test folder there so when you do that if you go for downloads here now i'm sorry and uh, when you create ls you see that there is a folder test so you can also give a complete path here with the help of mkdir right so till now i am creating uh, you know all these things like manually like i'm creating uh, the files manually so there is a command you can directly use that command here to create that file so there is a touch command so touch so let me go for like I, I can directly go for touch command and then let me go for desktop and then uh, then create a file name um, maybe file zilla <laughs> okay so create a file file zilla in the desktop so when i do that i mean i need to give the extension as well so when i when i when i do that you see here that it will create a file files in her dot text so you can use a touch command to create files mkdir is specific specifically for uh, you know for creating a directory and touch command is specifically for uh, creating the files by the way you can use uh, something called as a help command here to see the internal options you can see here that these are all options you can use with touch command if you do not remember any of the options you just need to type there uh, dash dash help and it will show you the all options okay so uh, the same way i do not know why this is not working with ls oh yeah now, that, now this is working i'm so sorry i think previously i forgot so ls dash help if you type you will see all options the alternative if you if you find that dash dash help is not working you can use man as well man is basically manual for every command every program which has been written pre-installed in the operating system so man if you type ls then it will show you the manual pages of uh, a list directory you can see here so just hit enter 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 you see there is a long documentation being provided for the ls command not only ls command but every command it is being given so uh, press q uh, to uh, out from that whole thing the next command uh, you need to understand is the cp command 
well cp command is basically is a copy command you can copy any file uh, from one location to another location so let's say uh, if i have if i go to cd uh, so if i can copy like cp and uh, if i directly copy any file like this hash.txt copy it from the desktop and copy it to the uh, to the download folder how can you do that so cp command and let's say desktop and hash.txt this is my source okay and now i'm going to provide the destination path so save it to the download and uh, maybe so there is no folder there. yeah i think there is a test folder i think there is a test folder so save this hash.txt inside the sorry copy this hash.txt inside the test folder when i hit enter you will see if you go to cd downloads i'm sorry uh, and hit enter type ls command oh, sorry i need to go for test folder as well and hit ls you will see that hash.txt has been copied the meaning of copy is it is duplicated okay it's not moved it is just copied now let's understand mv command which is our move command which is an alternative option for cp command which will move this so when i move it it will be not there in the desktop see mv desktop hash.txt save it to the move it to the downloads i'm sorry downloads and move it to the test folder so now you can see there is no hash.txt in the desktop it has been moved inside the test folder so if i go to cd downloads i'm sorry again i here it has been completely moved from the desktop to the download okay so this is the thing a cpn move and uh, and so these are the small uh, uh, small commands uh, and i'll see uh, you in the next session with the different uh, new commands and we will continue uh, do this for like three or four lectures. Uh, so I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so much, guys.